Morning everyone, welcome to your Friday teen yoga class. My name is Sarah. We're going to be doing a practice of about half an hour today. Um, you don't need anything special, so if you've got a mat, that's great, but if you haven't, no problem at all. All you need to do is just make sure that you haven't got any socks on, just so that you're not slipping and sliding about while we practice. Okay, so if you've got your socks on, they can come off now. Perfect, and then we're going to make a start. So, I'd like us to begin in a simple um, seated posture, so whatever looks comfortable for you. And then once you're there and you're settled, I'd like you to just extend the spine, allow the shoulders to drop away from the ears. And if it feels comfortable for you, you can allow the eyelids to close. And we'll begin our practice, just with a little bit of time checking in just to see how we're doing today. I know these have been slightly chaotic and confusing times. Lots of emotions possibly coming up for you. So just take a moment now to tune in and see what your body is holding. See what thoughts you have passing through your mind. Whatever's going on for you today, just acknowledge it without judgment. It doesn't matter if you're feeling happy or sad or stressed or calm. Only let those thoughts go. We're going to begin as we did last week with a few rounds of the Mali breath. So breathing in through your nose. Taking a nice full belly inhale, and then when you exhale, sighing out with a humming sound. So Damari breath, um, meaning bumble, bumblebee breath, for obvious reasons. So we're going to do three more of these. So inhaling through the nose. Fill the belly up. Wonderful. And just allow the body to settle. Just feeling the effects, those vibrations spreading through the body and the mind. And when you're ready, taking a big breath in, scooping the arms up overhead and down through heart centre. In prayer pose, the eyes gently opening, ready to begin our practice. So we're going to start with some simple shoulder stretches here. So interlocking the fingers, and we've got a fist. We're going to point the knuckles forward. We're going to hollow out through the shoulders and we're going to drop the head down. Really stretching that cervical spine. And then back to neutral. And then turning the palms over, stretching the arms up, stretching through the upper body, looking up to the hands. Coming back down, bringing the knuckles forward, dropping the head down, stretching back through the shoulder, see sort of tucking the belly in here and pushing back through the shoulder blades. If you've just woken up, maybe you're feeling a little bit stiff and tight. This can help us begin loosening before we practice. And then coming back, turning the hands over, bringing them up overhead, looking up to the hands, stretching through. Oh, the cat's here in front of the camera, that's really helpful, I'll go over. 
<laughs> and then relaxing the hands down. Not to be part of the class today. You know, if you've got pets around, they do too. Okay, sending the right hand away with an inhale, bringing the left arm up. And as you exhale, just folding over, taking a stretch through that side body. <laughs> Tailing back to centre. Take an exhale, go nice and tall, inhale, right arm goes up, left hand goes away, and as you exhale, folding down, stretching through the side body. So we've had goat yoga, what we've got today is cat yoga. As soon as she feels the mat come out, she'll be very, very careful. And then coming back to centre. So we're just going to come down onto our back. And we're going to do a gentle hamstring stretch here. So hugging both your knees into your chest. That's how we're going to start. Just take a moment. Maybe rocking gently from side to side. And then you're going to stretch your left leg along the mat. And you're going to hug the right knee in. And you're just going to bend and flex your ankle. And if you're like me, there's a lovely crack there. My ankles always like to pop and prick. Just bend and straighten your ankle. And then we're going to stretch that right leg up towards the ceiling. So the flat of the foot is going towards the ceiling. So we're not pointed toes, we're nice flat, so there's still a bit of flexion in the ankle. And then you're either going to grab the back of your thigh, back of your calf, or if you can reach your toes, you can go for the toes, but it doesn't really matter where you're holding. So I'm going to go for the back of the thigh today. So around my hamstring. And we're just going to push gently up through the heel and just use the hands can maybe gently ease that leg towards us, but it's not a, an aggressive movement, it's not a tug, it's just a real gentle easing. And then release, arms above your head, take a nice full body stretch, hug the left knee into your chest. And again, we're just going to bend um, and flex, flex that ankle. So point the toe, flex the ankle, point the toe, flex the ankle, just to um, mobilise our ankles a little. And then we're going to, again, bring that leg straight up, flatten the foot, so the sole of the foot is pointing towards the ceiling, taking hold of wherever you found comfortable on your other leg, um, on this one, so for me it's going to be behind the hamstrings again, and then pushing up through the heel, and gently easing the leg towards the body. Now, if you can't take hold of your leg at all, what you can do, if you've got a dressing gown at home, is you can use the belt, you can hook it over your foot, and you can use that, just gives you a little bit of extra reach. So we're aiming here to keep the back flat on the mat, so we don't really want to be up here. Um, so if you need to use a belt, you can hook that around the leg as well, and, and use that to help you ease the leg towards you. And then relaxing the leg long along the ground, arms over the head, stretching the body long. Wonderful. And then from here, we're going to very slowly sit up, so however that looks for you. And we're going to make our way down to child's pose before we start today. So, um, onto hands and knees. We're going to take the legs slightly wider than we would normally, so about mat width apart. And we're going to sink back down towards the heels again if you've got a gap here you can use a cushion you can sit onto a cushion it doesn't matter you haven't got to be right down on your heels and we're going to extend the arms overhead today and bring the forehead down to the mat in extended child's pose and while you're here just want you to see if you can notice your breath see if you can notice what's going on with the breathing and so then the breath, I'd like you to try and maintain if you can through the practice. It's more just a little experiment for you to see how it feels. You breathe in for a count of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you breathe out for a count of six as well. So one, two, three. 
Three, three, four, five, six. And we'll follow this um, pattern of breath. We've got a coherent breathing. It's very, very good just for bringing the body and the mind back into harmony. It's quite tricky, it's quite a tricky pattern to maintain, so maybe just have a play around with it today. You don't have to stick to it, and if it doesn't feel good for you, then obviously don't stick to it at all. So whatever your breath is doing here, just notice it at that moment. We're gently bringing the head up and easing onto the hands and knees, so bringing the knees back to hip distance. And then we're just going to do some cat cows to warm up the spine before we get into the main part of the practice. So we inhale, filling the belly and hands up. Exhale, dropping the head down, stretching through the shoulders like we did earlier in the warm up. Inhaling, filling the belly. Head comes up. Inhale. Exhale, then dropping that head down, pushing up through the shoulders into cat, and then coming back to a nice neutral spine. And then from here, I'm just going to shuffle forward so you can definitely see. From here, tucking the toes, pushing back to our first downward dog of the day, either with heels flat on the mat, with knees slightly bent, whatever feels good for you. And just taking a couple of breaths here. You might want to bend and straighten your legs as well, alternately, while you're here, just taking your dog for a walk. And then when you're ready, I'd like you to step forward with your left leg to the front of the mat. And then as you inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, exhale down through heart centre to begin our sun salutation. So, Inhaling, bend the knees, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, as we step back on the left leg, drop the knee down, looking up. Untuck the foot, step back with the right, knee into plank. And then exhaling, and you can either lower down here with the knees first, to give you a bit of an easier time, or you can stay in plank and go down through chaturanga. Inhale to up dog, exhale rolling the toes, back to downward facing dog. And then as we step forward this time, we're going to step through with the right, we're going to drop the left knee down, untuck the foot, and then we're going to step through with the left, inhale arms are going to come all the way up, exhale down through heart centre for a second round. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, step back with the right leg this time, drop the knee down, look up. Step back with the left, coming into plank pose. As we exhale, coming down to chaturanga, or knees step sink in. Inhale, pushing to up dog. Exhale, roll the toes, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Sweep the left leg up, do inhale, step through, bring the right leg forward to join it, exhale, inhale, floating all the way up, exhaling, down through heart centre. Okay, so the next rounds we do, we're going to change like ever so slightly, instead of coming up into the, the low lunge where you've got that um, back leg flat, we're gonna try and come up into a slightly higher lunge, okay? So inhaling, bringing the arms up, exhale, rolling down. Stepping back as you inhale on the left leg, and instead of dropping the knee this time, we're actually gonna sweep up into a lunge. We're gonna slightly vary our sun salutations here. If you do need to drop the knee, then feel free to still drop the knee. If you can, try to stay up in this high lunge. Okay, and then hands come back down, frame the front foot, step back with your right foot, coming into plank, 
lowering down, inhale into up dog, rolling the toes, downward facing dog. Okay, so scoop your right leg up as you inhale, stepping through and again we're going to try and scoop up into this high lunge. See how that feels for you. And then bring the front foot with your hands, step through. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Exhale, down through heart centre. So we're going to try and do the same on the other leg now, okay? Inhaling. Exhaling, fold down. Step back with that right foot. And then sweep up into your high lunge. If you need to come down onto the knee, that's fine. Hands back down, frame the front foot. Step back and through into your plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to downward dog. Hold here for a few breaths. Inhaling and exhaling your own time. And then inhale, left leg comes up this time. Stepping through. Exhaling, coming up into that high lunge. And then coming back down, framing the hands, stepping through. Inhale, float all the way up, exhaling down through heart centre. Beautiful. Okay, how does everybody feel? Getting a little bit warmer? You can hear that I'm breathing a little bit heavier now. Okay, so before we go on to the next bit, I just want to take a gentle shake out. Just a pause between our practice, so shaking out the legs, shaking out the arms. If you've just got up, then actually sometimes a couple of sun salutations and a quick shake, pretend you can hear music. <laughs> it doesn't matter if anyone can see. And just shaking out the whole body. Beautiful. Okay, facing the short edge of our mat once more. So we're gonna come into warrior one now, so a short warrior sequence. I'd like you to place your left foot so it faces the short edge of your mat. And I'd like you to step out with the right foot so it's parallel with the back edge of the mat. And then I want you to bend into that front knee, turn your body so it's facing forward and then sweep the arms up. And then we're in warrior one. Okay, can't feel breaths here. Really lift through the chest, sink down through the hips. And then with an exhale, turning the body, opening out to warrior two. Looking over that front hand again, sinking down through the hips. Trying to level off your arm. And just taking a couple of breaths here. And then I'd like you to turn your left foot so it's also facing um, forward, so that it's either the short edge of your mat. And we're just going to do a wide-legged forward fold from here. So the arms can come and you can either grab hold of your elbows or if you want to, you can try and reach with your toes, your big toes. So dropping the head down and then seeing if we can just relax that upper body into this forward fold. So we've done a bit of hamstring work already this morning, warming up when we were laying flat. And we're just doing the same again here, just gently working into the hamstring. Inhaling and exhaling here. And then turning your body, so keeping your head down, and turning your um, right foot this time so it faces the short edge of your mat. And then we're going to sweep up with an inhale to warrior one in the opposite direction. So really lifting up through the chest, sinking down through the hips. Beautiful, breathing here. Really feel the strength of your body in this pose. I like on a Friday, just because you can finish with something quite strong. So exhale, opening up to warrior two, looking over that front hand. And I know that might seem a little counterintuitive, but sometimes when we're actually lower in energy, maybe as we come towards the end of the week, what we can benefit from doing the opposite is doing something slightly more energetic and strong just to wake us up a little bit again okay 
And then straightening the legs, dropping the arms, towing the feet together. Again, maybe having another little shake. Your dance with no music, shaking everything out. And then bringing the feet sort of hip, hip width apart, maybe a little less. Allowing the shoulders to sink down. And from here, we're going to come into um, tree pose, Shrikanasana, not Shrikanasana. We're going to come into tree pose. So we're going to root down through the right foot. And we're going to bring the sole of the left foot either um, below the knee or we're going to bring it above the knee if that's comfortable for you. And then the hands can be either at chest height or if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can try bringing them up overhead. And then you can let your balance go. I know balancing is quite tricky. Just see how you get on. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So again, your foot can either be um, just above the ankle, but below the knee, or it can be resting on the floor, if actually even that is, is a little bit too much for you this morning. Or if you want to, you can bring the sole of your foot up to the inside of the thigh. Sweep the arms up overhead or into prayer pose, wherever feels best for you. We're not going to stay too long in balances because I know they can be hard. And then allowing the hands to come down, dropping back out. And now we're going to go into Trikonasana. I got ahead of myself there. So turning your left foot forward again as though we were um, into Warrior One, like we did earlier. And then the right foot parallel to the back edge of your mat. Bringing the arms up to shoulder height. Take an inhale. As we exhale, we're going to gently slide down the thigh until we get this nice stretch into the side body. So don't worry about getting your hand to the floor, just sliding down the thigh is just fine. And then gently inhaling, coming back up, turning the left foot so it's in parallel with the short edge of your mat if you've got a mat, and then turning your right foot um, so the toes face the short edge if you've got your mat. And like we did with the warrior one, just same sort of foot position. Inhaling, arms come up to shoulder height. And then as you exhale, gently sliding the hands down the thigh, really opening the heart into triangle pose. Inhaling, coming back up. How does that feel, everyone? We're feeling like we've had a little bit more of a stretch down the sides, into the thighs. Stretch the hamstrings, so we're going to make our way down to the floor. And then I've got one more um, challenge posture that I'd like you to have a go at today, if you can, so lots of balancing. So I'd like you to come into a sitting position, position with your feet flat on the mat, hands by your side. And we're going to have a go at boat pose, so it's like it's a core um, sort of a uh, pose that engages your core, okay? So finding the sit bones, seeing if you can sort of find a point of balance there. The way to begin is to bring the knees just into your chest and see if you can find a point of balance with the feet off the floor and on your sit bones, okay? So it's quite tricky. You can feel there's a bit of a rock there, a bit of rock and roll. And then what I'd like to do is to see gently if you can straighten the legs. You can keep the hands on if you like. Or you can take the hands off and see if you can just find that point of balance on your sit bones. It's fine if you're rocking and rolling about, it happens. And then relax everything down. Dear floor. And coming back onto our backs for our final relaxation postures. So just holding onto the knees and just gently rocking the body from side to side before we come down into Shavasana. And 
as I said before, it's up to you what your shavasana looks like. So you may want to bring your legs into butterfly. You may want to put the soles of your feet together and drop the outside of your legs apart, hands on your belly. You may want to be flat on your back in traditional shavasana with um, arms at your sides. Or you may want to roll over onto your tummy and just make a little pillow for your head with your hands. So whatever that looks like for you, you make yourself comfy now, settling yourself in. And just allow the eyes to close if it feels comfortable for you. And allow the body to settle. And just take a quick moment to scan the body. If you're feeling the right hand, the right arm, the right side of the torso, the right leg, the right foot, the left hand, the left arm left side of the torso, the left leg and the left foot, and then the whole of the body from the feet all the way up the legs, up the torso, down the arms and back to the hands. So you're really feeling that whole body this morning, noticing how different it feels now bringing the attention up to your neck, your mouth, the nose, the eyes and the eyebrows, both ears, the cheeks, the chin, the forehead, the crown of the head, and then the whole body, the whole body from the head all the way down to the very tips of the toes, feeling the body, feeling how the body is safe, supported by the earth. And then when you're ready, gently bringing some movement back to the hands and the feet. Perhaps rolling gently onto one side, to the left or the right. The right if you feel like you want a bit more energy this morning. To the left if you just feel like to be calm. And slowly making your way back up to the comfortable seated position. It's fine if the eyes are still closed. And then taking a big breath in, sweeping the arms up overhead. Exhaling down through heart centre. And we'll just finish with Om Shanti. Inhaling. Om Shanti 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 Allowing the hands to relax, the eyes perhaps to open. And welcome back. Okay, it's been a short one today. So my well-being tip for you over the coming weeks is to make sure that you're actually getting enough rest, which I know seems strange when we're indoors a lot, but we can spend a lot of time looking at screens, TV, phones, tablets, whatever it might be. Just make sure you're taking time away from those to get proper sleep and proper rest and proper relaxation. And your challenge for this week is 
to see if you can remember to make everybody in your household a drink at least twice a day. Which sounds simple, but actually will maybe take a little bit more thinking than uh, you perhaps realise, especially when you are looking at screens, doing schoolwork, whatever else may be taking up your day right now. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying the teen yoga videos and I look forward to seeing you again next Friday. Yes.